Hey, how's it going, guys? Okay, it's been a while since we got a new video, but uh, we also got a new camera. So hopefully everything looks a lot better for you. This will be about the first time I've ever used it to record a video, um, and the shot's a little, a little funny looking so far. But hopefully we can get that uh, all sorted out for you. Today we've got just a new mod to make everything look nicer. Um, I've been wanting it for a while. It's a little ricey, but I think it looks amazing. So what we do have today is just a new, it's like a little katana handle shift knob. I don't know why I love it so much, but I think they're freaking awesome. So what we're going to do is throw that on today. First of all, we of course have to get off the first one. And as far as I know, and hopefully I'm right. Yeah. Okay. It's just a little twist off. So all you really got to do is just give it a little bit of elbow grease it off counterclockwise comes right off what you want to do with it after that's up to you so the one I got is a universal fit I don't know if you can really see that too well it's not bored out or anything or to a certain thread size and it just has a couple little allen keys that come in each side right here I think there's about six of these holes to kind of stabilize it and what they give you Hopefully they're not rubber. They are rubber. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd be like a metal or at least like a really hard plastic. They're not bad. Um, it's kind of a spacer of sorts. I'm guessing you try to screw it onto your thread. It'll hold onto the thread whatever size you may be. I think uh, the FRS is a 12 by 125 or some somewhere around there. Feel free to correct me. But basically you just look for whichever size fits best. And you're gonna break it off your little tab. I'm assuming ours is gonna be this middle one. Because I can't slide it on. And hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Just screws right on there. It's a little rough, but I'll make sure to fast forward through this section so you don't just watch me screw on a piece of rubber. Awesome. I think that is actually on all the way. Hopefully that was the right size. Nope. Totally wrong. Okay. You're not supposed to screw it on. I'm guessing it's just supposed to be whichever size actually slides over it because when you when I screwed it on it's a little too wide now to actually fit in the, uh, in the shift knob so take two we're just gonna take this off and I'll see you again in a couple seconds Much better. That one literally just slid right on there. And hopefully it will fit. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm thinking it has a slight curve to it if you do get this. Um, kind of slurt curves a little. I don't know if you guys can see it super well. Stop focusing on my face. But it slur serves. Oh, wow. If I could talk, <laughs> sorry, it swerves just a little bit this direction in like almost a slight C shape. I'm um, thinking I'm going to put it in this way so I don't have to like quite bend my wrist. It's such an awkward way to shift back. Let's hope it fits on there. You have to definitely give it a bit of a twist to get it all the way down. Yeah, I'm not sure if it actually will go 
completely down. There is a plastic divider at the bottom where the, the old knob used to cover it. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's for, so I'm not going to take it off. Um, but give me just a second. I'll get you guys a close-up shot so you can actually see what I'm doing when I'm putting these bolts in. So give me just a second, and you'll have a new shot. Okay, cool. This is about as close as I think I'm gonna be able to get for you guys. Shot does look pretty good, if I do say so myself. But uh, what they gave us, hopefully I can get it to focus on one of these, sorry. It's just like a little Allen screw. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Fits right into into each of these notches. There's about six of them all around here. So I'm gonna hurry up and get it in here without looking as best as I can. Now with the rubber, I'm not quite sure how far these are gonna go in. I'll try to show you how far it sticks out once I get it screwed in as far as I can. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it from there. You can kind of see it. It sticks out just a little bit. Just barely, I mean, it's like an eighth of an inch or something, and you're not even gonna notice it because the, what is this, a Suba? Not super technical and katana parts, I'm sorry. This, this piece right here covers it from my view. So as long as you're driving or in the passenger seat, I'm sure you're not really gonna notice it at all. So unless you're just a little OCD about things like that, then you're not gonna care. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get the other three sides to make sure that it kind of goes on even and I don't put it on there wonky so it's leaning to a side. Because that will drive me insane. Oh, okay. Cool. Now that I've got one on each side, third one done and then uh, I'll just kind of fast forward for you guys through this part and I'll see you as soon as we come out the other side So, as you can definitely tell from this angle, these two over here stick out quite a bit as opposed to the first one that went in. I'm assuming it's just because once you tighten down the first one, it, it leaned to one side just ever so slightly. But, I mean, it's not enough to be noticeable, and if I did notice it, it'd drive me nuts and I'd have to fix it. So, if you can deal with these bolts sticking out just a little bit, it should be just fine. Um, give me just a second, I'll give you a whole look around of how it, how it looks and how tall it is in the actual car. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's the full shift knob. I don't know if you could really call it a knob now. Uh, I think it was about 10 inches long. So it's a little huge. It comes past the screen as you can tell. Uh, but it's definitely got a really good weight to it. What I was trying to point out to you guys earlier, hopefully we can get 
get it to focus on that. As those bolts stick out just a little bit. Not, not bad though, but if I give you a driver's perspective, sorry for all the camera shake. I'm looking at it from up here. So it's really not that bad. What I do like though is as opposed to the stock knob, which is just the little round ball of leather, my hands slid off of this all the time when I was shifting to about fifth. Drove me insane. Now I have this that I can actually just hold with my thumb. And it shifts actually really easy. So makes it a lot better as far as I'm concerned. And I just think it looks awesome. It matches the, uh, the black and red theme I'm gonna have going on here soon. And relatively soon, already decided we're just gonna vinyl wrap all this nasty, ugly, fake carbon fiber red because it drives me insane. So I just don't like it. I think it's tacky and nobody really ever likes fake carbon fiber. But as far as that's concerned, guys, I'll keep you updated whenever I can. Just know that we're gonna have a lot of videos coming up here soon. And I know that they're coming in a little long. You may have noticed my beard's gotten thicker, trying to grow that out. It is now officially No Shave November. Um, the next set of videos won't be coming for a little while, but I'll keep you updated and we'll see how things go. Until then, take it easy, guys.